um, just a little bit, just a little bit information that that this class is being recorded. So yeah, just asking for your permission. I will try to start the session with giving information regarding region Surabaya. Okay, thank you, operator. Um, you guys may have already known region ID. Uh, so we're kind of we're kind of branch of region ID, but we are based in Surabaya. I'd like to say welcome to Britain Surabaya. Next. Okay, so Britain Surabaya um, is a part of Britain ID uh, and was launched at Loop Station Darmo to expand the audience in Surabaya and nearby. Britain Surabaya was launched uh, two years ago in 13 of July 2019, and we have a tagline. Our tagline is Dare to Speak Up. So in this class, you all must applicate our tagline, right? Uh, you must be brave to speak up your, your talk. Right, next. This is what we're working on. We do have regular class or online class. Uh, we did some offline class before, but because the pandemic, so we're moved to do online classes. It is conducted every Saturday with various topics and speakers. Uh, also, we have breakout room for FTD session where you guys can practice for your speaking English skills. And we have number two, we have webinar or sharing session. It is usually once in two months for webinar and once a month for our sharing session. And the third is collaboration. We did some collaboration with campus, radio, and community in Surabaya. And the fourth, we also did some charity project to help unfortunate people in Surabaya and nearby. Next. Um, this is our documentation for our offline and online class. The offline class usually held in Loop Station Darmo, Surabaya, and the online class just like what we're doing it right now in the Zoom meeting. Next. These are the other uh, these are the other projects that we did. These two pictures is our documentary for webinar session. And the next is Be Care, our charity project. And then these are the collaboration with Traveloka and Red Doors. Next. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, and these are the logos of our past collaborators. There are Red Doors, Traveloka, and etc. And next. This is our online class rules. Uh, first, you should dress up properly, and then don't judge others. Don't judge others' ability because we learn together here. So we really encourage you guys to speak English with freely and confidently. And the third, uh, you must mute yourself when others are speaking to respect them. And then you can ask to the speaker in the Q&A session by typing on the chat box or unmuting yourself. And the last is please turn on your video and unmute yourself in photo session. Next. This is our social media. 
um, you can reach out to us in Instagram at Gridzone SBY or at Gridzone Merch. And also we have a Telegram group named Gridzone Surabaya. And then this is our email address and website if you guys want to know more about our community. And then, uh, and then we also have YouTube channel where you guys can rewatch the recording of this class or the previous classes. The YouTube channel is named Return Surabaya. Right. I think that's all. Okay, just a little bit information that our rundown for today is the first is opening and I'm doing it now. And then we are going to greet our conductor. And the presentation time for the conductor to present the material. And then we will have a FTD session uh, to you guys practice your speaking English skills and applicate the material that has presented by the conductor. And then after the FTD session, uh, we will go back to the main room to review about what were you guys discussing about in the FTD session. And after all the representative of the group already done their review, we do have game. Um, and then after the game, we have Q&A session. Uh, and the last session is photo session and closing the class. That's it. All right, guys, would you mind to give me a reaction with your favorite emoticon maybe? So I will know that you guys are still here and ready to get more insight from our beautiful speaker today. Okay, thank you guys, I appreciate it. Okay, that's for the opening. Um, and then let's just greet our beautiful, amazing, talented, brilliant, incredible speaker, Mbak Princess, yay. Hi Mbak Princess, how are oh, you today? Oh, hi Eva. I'm fine, how are I'm you good. Today? Oh. And how about you? I'm good. I'm really, really good today. All right. Are you ready to give um, material for today, my princess? Of course, I should. Yeah, okay. I'm kind of like excited to meet the new friends here and then share my knowledge with, with everyone, Jeffy. Okay, me too, Hope my princess. Useful. Sure. Too. Actually, my princess is the regional director of Pritzun Surabaya, and she is an English enthusiast. Her English is very awesome. Me personally, really love the way Mbak Princess talk in English. You guys will know it later. You guys will know it later. I, uh, I, I, I believe it. Her accent is super great. No, you're exaggerating things. <laughs> We are learning together here, so I, I'm still, I'm still learning. So yeah, you guys do, do not be afraid to just ask if you do have questions or something. Just um, pretend like I'm your friends, I'm your best friends, and we're we're here. We're going to share, and that's really great. Don't see me as your teacher or or something so expert. No. Okay, my princess, but you're still expert for me. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, okay. thank you for the good words. Um, okay, I think that's all for the introduction for the introduction of our speaker. Uh, okay, my prince, I think she is ready to start this presentation. Uh, am I uh, right, my okay. princess? Am yeah, I right? Should okay. be. Okay, my princess, time is yours. Wait a second before I'm starting the presentation. Um. Is my lighting is good? <laughs> I'm sorry, my princess. Is my lighting good? Yes. Okay, cool. No, I mean, doesn't it really shine bright no. to bright? No, 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 no. Uh, okay. I think the brightness is good for you. <laughs> All right. Thank you for the introduction. Okay. And yeah, should I start now? Yes, okay. go ahead, go ahead. Sure, yep. 
So hi everyone. I hope you are in the good condition right now. And like what I've said before, we're going to learn together here. So you don't need to be worried about your English skills, your speaking skills, or etc. You don't need to be worried about that. What you need to be remember is that you have to learn. You have to improve from your from you from you are now to the better of yours. Okay, right. All right, I will try to share my screen. A second, okay. Yep, um, it's level up your English by using phrasal verbs with Futri, okay, princess. All right, so yep, meet Putri here. I'm Putri Rahmatulisana, or you may also just call me princess. Kind of like in my stage now because because you know that there are so many putris in Indonesia, so that's why I choose to be princess. <laughs> but of course, informal, you may just call me putri. And um, I was so I'm still grateful that I've always been trusted. I've been trusted as the regional director of Prison Surabaya in 2021 up until 2022. I'm also an English enthusiast, and now I'm working as a private employee in the private company, of course, and I'm as the customer support agent. So yeah, I'm handling the customer's injuries and then handling the customer's complaints and such of things. And of course, there's swearings. They're kind of like, um, really bad to hear, but yeah, that's my duty, so I need to do that, okay? Right, I think that's all for my introduction because Kaifa has already intro introduced me before and now we're going to move to the next slides. Okay, so this is the next slides. So before we're going to go to our presentations right now, I need you guys to help me fill in the blank. So it's kind of like uh, having a pre-S, having a pre-S before the material is going to be shared. So I have you guys ready? Yep. Yep, I'm from 2-1, of course. <laughs> Thank you, Amila. I'm sorry, I have read this. And then, yep, let's just go to the next page. I need you to help me to fill in the blank, right? If there is none of you like to sound their voices, so I might choose you one by one. So I'm really sorry. <laughs> kind of like heads up, OK? So, yep, I have this uh, sentence. It's dark inside. So could you blah, blah, blah the light, please? Yep. I have a question, dear. Someone can help me to answer it. Okay, Mas Ezra, turn on. And then Kainka, turn on. And then Camila, turn on. Okay. Is there anything else? I mean, any one of you who have another choices of it? And no, I have it turned on. Oh, okay. I guess we agree with this. So let's just move to the next slides to the answer, right? One, two, three. Okay, yep. It's dark inside. So could you please turn on the light? Yeah, as what you have already known, that this is kind of like a common word, a common phrase of verbs that you usually meet in your daily life. So turn on is actually start the flow or operation of something by means of a valve, switch or button. And then let's move to the next question. One, two, three. Okay, so this is Abbott. Actually, they're, they're friends behind of Abbott, but they didn't show it in the mirror. So yeah, just read them that Abbott are, Abbott is with his friends right now. So Abbott and his friends, always blah, blah, blah for their inputs and meetings. So what is these words should be? Uh, I have a clue here. So it's seven letters. So if you if you don't know what letter is, letters is actually abjad, like huruf. So the clue seven letters here is meant that kuncinya, uh, uh, cluenya, sorry, cluenya ada tujuh huruf, tujuh abjad. Okay, I will try to check on the 
chat box, there is none of you would like to answer this. So I guess I need to choose someone to answer this. All right. Wait, I will try to call. Got happy? Are you here? Would you like to unmute yourself? Got happy? Are you here? Got happy? Okay, I didn't, I didn't hear any voices. So I will try to move to wait. Kainka, would you help me? In my mind, dress up. Okay, Kainka, dress up. Already typing. Any one of you have another like answers? Any one of you? Any one of you would like to try? No, I agree with Inka. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, thank you. Karedi, Karedi also have the same opinion, so it's Teresa. Okay, let's see if it's right or not, right? One. Oh, but I think before we're going to the dress up, I might want to talk to Ka Inka. Can you open your mic? Can you turn on your mic? Yes, I'm here, Kabutri. Wah, wow, kain ka, long time no see. Yes, I ever meet you in other Zoom, but I, I forget the title of the meeting. With Jamie, am I correct? Um, or HR Debacot ya, gak tau kak, lupa. <laughs> yeah, with HR Debacot, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> yeah, wow, well, thank you so much for coming up here. And how about this um dress up? Uh, why why do you think it's uh, the answer is dress up, Kainka? Hmm, actually, I just remember up, but I forget the five up chat before. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> All right, that's really okay. You've already tried, so I appreciate that. Okay, without further ado, without no much wandering away, so let's go see the answers. And yeah, wait, <laughs> congratulations, Ka Inka, and also Karadi, who's answering it right. So it's actually dress up. What the meaning of dress up? Dress up here means wear nice clothes. So we're kind of like um dressing up when we when we'd like to go to an important meeting and then to the presentation or even like this. Yeah, we need to dress up. All right, next move to the next question. Yeah, this is a woman looking out for something, and then it's man, and then this is woman with, uh, I guess, father, and then it, this is um a boy going to blah, 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 to go bicycle. So the question is, uh, why don't we blah, blah, blah for pizza tonight? So blah, blah, blah. It should be like five letters, and the verb is only like two, and then followed by ad adverb three letters of adverb. Anyone can help me? Okay, Karefi, go out. Kainka, go out. Kaisra, go out. Okay. Yeah, anyone has another opinion regarding this? And no? No one have another ideas? Let me count till three. One, two, three. Okay. Yep. No one has another idea. Let me see the answer. Yay, that's correct. It's kind of like quite easy, right? Go out. Mean to leave your home in order to do something enjoyable. For example, to go to a party and then the bar or the cinema itself. So why don't we go out? It's kind of like we're going out from our home to find friends, to meet friends, to do something um, that, make, that, that can make us feel happy. It's already clear. All right, let's move. And then this is it. A handsome man here. <laughs> oh, right, it's an SF, okay? Oh, so the question is, I always blah, blah, blah by doing setups before I go around. I go for a run, I'm sorry. The clue is six letters. And I will try to open the chat box. Okay, Karafi, work out. Anyone has another opinion? Anyone would like to say something? Okay, anyone? Okay, see the chat box. Warm up. All right. 
and then eat kaifa as a warm up. Okay. Um, I will try to ask uh, a participant here. So, uh, Karafi, are you here? Yes, I am here. Okay, cool. Yep. Uh, how do you do, Karafi? I mean, what's up? Uh, why I chose workout because I don't read these questions carefully, but after I read again, I think warm up is more <laughs> suitable oh. for this question. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're changing your your answers, okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a label, label person, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just typing oh. what I okay. see from yeah. the picture. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> see, that's really okay. But why do you think that he's kind of warming up? Uh, because uh, the sentence is using doing sits up before I go for a run. Run is more intense for workout. So before workout, we should do the warm up. I think that's all right. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Karefi, yeah. for answering this. Yeah. And also kind of a make sense reasons. And then just let, let us just open these answers because I've, everyone, I think, uh, thinks that this is a uh, warm up, right? So one, two, three. Wait, it didn't move. I'm sorry. One, two, three. Yay. <laughs> That's the correct answer. Yay. Good job, Karefi. And also Kaisra and everyone who's answering warm up. So I always warm up by doing sit-ups before I go for a run. So warm up is actually to prepare for a sport or activity by doing gentle exercises. Like what Karafi has said before, it's actually some exercise, light exercise that we do before we're going to a heavy workout. Okay, I think that's clear for this. And then let's move to here, yeah. We have our president, our blessed president here, so Mr. Jokowi, and then also uh, the beautiful women here. The beautiful women here. And it's a Chinese, Chinese, Chinese language, I believe, yep. So they all blah, 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 Asia. So all of them are blah, 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 Asia. So it's actually, the clue is eight letters. Can I see the, okay. Kak Ezra, come from? Anyone else? Okay, Kak Refi. Anyone else? Come from Kak Refi. President of what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> they kind of funny. Our, our reason Surabaya said that it was president of, they all president of Asia. Whoa. <laughs> what a nice guessing. Okay. Let me see. There is Kak Ezra. Kaiser, can you can you turn on your mic? Oh yes, hello. Okay, hi mm -hmm. hi Kaiser. Hi. All right. So, what, what do you? Uh, why do you think it's come from? Yes, because uh, as we can see that the the people have uh, uh, if, if uh, have one thing in my uh, one one thing, thing in common. common. In my, yeah. Yeah. Their their origins. Mm-hmm. Cool. So your answering come from. Yes. But what uh your answering come from because I've already give the clue, right? Yes. <laughs> why? Why? Uh, I mean, what if what if I didn't give any clue here? Will you yeah, still yeah. answer yeah, come from? Yes. That's this is just uh, this quickest answer that I can give. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Yep. All right, well done. Thanks, Ka Ezra, for answering this. Okay, let's just ask, uh, open this. One, two, three. Yeah, that's correct. It's already clear that all of them coming from are coming from Asia. So yeah, what Ka Ezra has said before, it's actually right that come from is uh, like a, an original of something. Yeah, they're originate from Indonesia. I'm sorry, Asia. All right, I think that's clear. Move. Yeah, this is a quite bit hard because, yeah, it's not so common phrasal verbs. 
but if you do know this, so you really are advanced. So when bad things happen, I'm sorry, when bad things happen, they will blah, blah, blah the construct. So, yep, quiet, quiet fast, zero up, okay. Karafi, zero up, any one of you have another opinion than Karafi? Maybe Britain's Robert has another opinion again. And a funny opinion, maybe. <laughs> All right, no one, no one would like to answer it. Okay, let's just open this. Let's start with that right today. Once it's right. Oh, okay. Yep, the answer is uh, right that it is zero up. So I believe that Karavi is a really a an expert, right? Not fans in this, so yeah. <laughs> really good to know that uh, the answer is right, so it's still up. So when bad thing happens, uh, they will tear up at the construct. Tear up mean like when you bet, merusak, mem, yeah. To damage, remove, or evict something. So the contract actually has already been signed by both parties, but then uh, maybe that kind of like issue in the middle, in the midst of the contract, and then yeah, they will just tear, tear up the contract. All right, let's move. Okay, this is it. The next thing is also hard. <laughs> it's a hard level, I, I believe. So I'm free this weekend. I'm sorry, I'm free this weekend. So why don't we blah, blah, blah. It is three letters here, then kind of like eight letters here. Mm -hmm. So people hanging around here, trying to find happiness, I believe. They're trying to do a gossiping maybe. <laughs> yeah, but this is the case. What is this? Can you guess, can you guys guess it? Yeah, it's a bit hard, so <laughs> I don't expect, I expect nothing. Okay, let's hang out together. Okay, hang out together. I will, I will collect these answers. Thank you, Brisson Surabaya. Thank you, Kat. Because uh, no one, no one uh, answered it again. I believe we can move. All right, one. I think I can give a drum roll a bit. <laughs> oh, I see a chat box coming. Why don't we just see answers? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, this is it. The answer is a get together. So get together is meant like um, you gathering in a place with some people, with, with friends or maybe your family to have, to have a dinner, maybe to have a party, to have a like discussion. That is get together. Like kumpul bersama. That's it. All right. I think I will move to the next one. Yep. It's already done for the first quizzes here. So um, the answer is, do you know what are we going to learn? I believe you know, right? We're going to learn phrasal verbs. But now the, uh, the question would be, so what is phrasal verb? Why do we need to learn that? Is it that um, is it that important? And the answer is this. So verse of verb actually is a verse that indicate action. So it actually it basically combines a verb with a preposition or a verb, or even both. That will be functioned as verb. So the replacement of the original verb like the the one word verb i believe and the second the meaning isn't the obvious so you can't just translate it one by one for the example is like get together get mendapatkan together bersama mendapatkan bersama what is mendapatkan bersama right and then another example like a warm up warm is hangat and up is mengangkat or yeah, berdiri, something like that, right? So when we 
just collected means like um, hangat mengangkat, hangat berdiri. <laughs> was it that? They're making no sense, right? So that's why uh, we couldn't we couldn't just translate it one by one word. We we can only like translate it when it gets together. Ketika mereka bersama. That's it. And the third one is generally used in spoken English. Spoken, what is spoken English? Spoken English is when we're speaking in English. So uh, uh, that that means that it's a spoken English. Or even in formal texts like chats. And then I believe it's only chat, chats, messengers. Or even like email, but a, an informal email with your friends, with your best friend. That's it. It shouldn't be used. I mean, the phrasal verb shouldn't be used in an academic writing. Like when you're writing a journal, then you'd like to input the phrasal verb in it. So no, you can do that. It's a big no if you use it in academic writing because it's informal. It's not formal. And then the next, number fourth, it may be followed with object or not. So basically some phrasal verbs need object after that but some of them don't have to uh, don't need the object what for example who needs the object and who doesn't need the object who needs the object is like pick it up pick it up like mengambil pick it up right pick it up right it so the object is it so we couldn't only use pick up pick up what we need object with it right and then phrasal verb which uh, do not need which don't need the object for the example is wake up wake up bangun right uh, we will never say i wake up bed i wake up blah 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 right there is no such kind of things so wake up it doesn't need any object after afterwards and then yeah when the phrasal verb followed with objects, so we can say it's a transitive phrasal verbs, but if it doesn't, so it's intransitive. Okay, and the next one is so in terms of word order, like penyusunan kata, there are two main types of phrasal verbs: it's separable and inseparable. The separable is uh, the phrasal verb that we can we can separate, we can, we can like dibisah, we can separate it, kita dapat misahnya. But if inseparable, so we, we, we can't, we can't, so we can't, kita tidak bisa memisahnya. So it will go together, like always, always together. Let's just see uh, the example of this separable and inseparable. I'm sorry, separable and inseparable one. So that you can like have an imagination of, oh, this is the separable. Uh, oh, this is the inseparable. Okay, let's move. Uh, this is it, the separable one. So with separable phrasal verbs, uh, the verb and particle can be apart together. What I've said before, they can be separated. For the example, they've called the meeting of. You see here, they've called the meeting of. So the phrasal verb should be called of. But why meeting is inside of it, in the midst of it? Yeah, because it's a separable phrasal verb. So it's really okay if you use meeting in the midst of the phrasal verb or even after the phrasal verb. So do you see the difference here? They've called the meeting of, and then they've called off the meeting. The meaning is just the same. Called off mean cancel, membatalkan, call off the meeting. The meaning is just the same. Mereka membatalkan meeting itu. Mereka membatalkan meeting itu. So that's okay if you use called off, called the meeting of, or called off the meeting. And the next, several phrasal verbs must be separated when you use the pronoun. Pronoun is kata ganti orang, like um, him, her, and then us, 
and then it, you, and then me. That's it. And etc. Of course, I, I I can't just say it here because it's going to be long and so many. Okay. So um, the example is: Are you asking about the meeting? They've called it off. It here is a pronoun for the meeting. So they've called it off. So it's really okay to use it. To use a pronoun here. And the next, some common result verbs uh, that you may meet, you may uh, found in daily life is, please, can you fill this form in? Please, can you fill this form in? Fill in is for information in the form or document. Like fill in the registration form. So if we change it, okay. So if we change it, like, uh, please, can you fill this form in? We can also change it to, please, can you fill in this form? That could be possible. And then next, I'll pick you up from the, st from the station at 8 p.m. Pick up mean collect someone in a car or other vehicle to take them somewhere. So we need we uh we can actually change this you to the object. Like uh, for the example, I'll pick up you from the station at eight a.m. Eight p.m. I'm sorry, that's okay. That's also an alternative. And the next, uh, she turned the job down because she didn't want to move to Glasgow. So turn down to means to not accept a nova. Like, uh, turn down the interview maybe. You've got a nova for the interview session, but you turned it down. So it means that you uh, tidak menerima. What is tidak menerima? Yeah, yeah, tidak menerima, right? <laughs> She turned the job down, or even you can just use she, she turned down the job. That's okay. No, no problem at all. And then I think it's already done with the separable. Now we're going to move the inseparable one. So for the inseparable one, okay. The separable one, you know that it's some present verbs cannot be separated because it's inseparable. For the example like this, not to worry as I'll look after your cat today. You can't just add this cat, I mean move this cat to this, your cat to in the middle of look after. No, you couldn't do that. You can only uh, add the cat after, after this present verb, look after. Look after means menjaga. And then even when the, there is a pronoun, so the verb and particle remains together. For the example, the pronoun of your cat is actually only the cat, or, or we can also use it. Who looks after it when I'm work, when I'm at work. So, yep, still together. We couldn't separate it. And then here are some common non-separable phrasal verbs that you come across in. This is, I came across, come across. It should be come across because it's uh, already happened in the old time. So we change uh, the verb come to came. And then it's uh, to find something by change. Untuk menemukan sesuatu secara tidak sengaja. That's it. And then the caterpillar turned into a beautiful Parts of life. Turned into is become, like change. And then it was quite a major operation. It took months to go. It took months to get over it and feel normal again. What is get over? Get over means uh, to recover from something, like sembuh dari sesuatu. That's it. It might be possible, okay? And then uh, we are aware of the problem and we are looking into it. It should be look into, but because this is a present continuous, so we changed uh, the structure to, I mean the verb, to looking into it. Look into, what is that? It's to investigate, to find out more. Yeah, you can use find out also, right? All right, let's move. Oh, wait. 
I'm sorry. So the next is, why is it important? Like what I've said to you before that it's basically used by the native speakers to talk to their friends. They usually use the phrasal verbs rather than the verb itself. Why? Because, yeah, it's uh, it will so advanced and it feels like uh, like case well. And then uh, if you learned about these phrasal verbs correctly, it will surely help you to sound natural in casual conversation. So when you use this, when you're talking with your native friends or foreigners, they might think that, wow, this person is good. This person has good spoken English, like that. And then most importantly, when you're in a test, like, uh, namely like um, IELTS or TUVAL, IVT, if you'd like to get uh, the scholarship of, if you'd like to go abroad to uh, continue your degree and then you absolutely need this phrasal for when you're doing the speaking test it will surely make your score higher and also the function of idioms that's it all right i think we're going to move to the next quizzes because we've already learned about the phrasal verbs before so I hope you can implement that in the quizzes. Maybe just one or two. Okay, it's a bit, it's really easy, right? And it's you to, uh, and it's you guys to just answer this question, please, in the chat box. That's really okay. So be quick, uh, the plan will blah, blah, blah in 30 minutes. It's really general, right? Depart, okay. Guys, ready? Depart, and then anyone else? Take off, okay. Anything? Anyone would like to answer it again? Take off, Karafi. Take off. Okay, sure. So let us see what is the real answer of this, right? Because we're using a phrasal verb. This is it. <laughs> so I'm really sorry to hear that guys are just answering it wrong. It should be take off. But no worries, the part could be possible, but we're, because we're, we're talking about the phrasal verbs, so uh, the most suitable phrasal verb should be take off. Start flying. Okay. Uh, and then let's move again. It will be the last question, <laughs> the last quizzes that I've got before we jumped to the FGDization, I guess. Okay, this is it. So after a long time, she finally blah, blah, blah at a party last weekend. So she basically like uh, hidden, hid somewhere last week. And then, but last weekend, she's there. So she finally blah, blah, blah. Can anyone help me with this? She finally showed up, Rana. All right. Anyone else has another opinion? Uh, no one? Oh, okay. Maybe we're kind of like confused, right? Well, this is the right answer of this. But no worries. Let us find it together. So I would like to give a drum lower pin <laughs> because it's too quiet. So yeah. Wait. No. <laughs> I'll give a good drum roll. <laughs> All right, so the answer is, yep, good job, Rana. Yeah, the answer is showed up. Why well, we changed the show to showed because it's already last weekend, right? So it's a past tense. We need to change the verb to showed up. All right, I think um, that's all. I'm going to just move to the FGD station, if that possible. Yeah, it should be so many quizzes left, but I'm really sorry. We don't have time for that. I just want to guys to jump for the FGD session. Yep, this is the FGD sessions. You guys will be led by your facilitators, I believe. And yep, that's all for me. Thank you for tuning in up until now. I appreciate your presence here and I appreciate your activeness in uh, answering my questions and also respond responding my quite random quite random thoughts <laughs> but yeah I appreciate that a lot all right
just reach me out if you'd like to talk more about English or another things on Putri Irhamsel. Putri Rahmatul. Okay. Well, I I'll call it a day for this. I will try to get back to MC Kaifa. Okay, thank you. Thank you, my princess, for the presentation. It was it was really thoughtful and cheerful, kind of like kind of like cutie PowerPoint with many animation and pictures. <laughs> okay, we can we can Sorry, run a new too... hmm? what is it? No, I, I I just apologize because if you feel that it's kind of too childish <laughs> but it's cute right <laughs> no 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 not childish it's cute it's very cute yeah okay <laughs> okay uh, we can learn a new insight about phrasal verb and its type like separable and inseparable phrasal verb in a very very funny way i'm having a great time to learn that kind of stuff from you but princess how about you guys do you agree with me no i I was saying no. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> He's my brother. <laughs> Do you agree with me, guys? Uh, can you give an applause for for my princess? Yay! Thank you for sharing with us, princess. Sure. Yay, that's cool, oh, a pleasure. princess. Okay. You're having your right. yeah. You what probably are with you to yes. learn together, right? To learn English <laughs> together. So yeah. So passionate. <laughs> They're very, very, uh, my, my house is very crowded now. Yeah. All right, then we are moving on to FTD session, right? Uh, so uh, we are going to move you to several group, guys. I mean, I mean, breakout room. Uh, and we have facilitators too in each group. Okay, so let's create the wonderful facilitator first. Let me start with Mas Reidi. Hi, Mas Reidi. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hi, Hello. Mas Reidi. And the second is Mbak Almira. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hi, Mbak Almira. You're so cute with the hoodie. Oh, my God. How yes. cute. Because it's, yeah, this is rainy day. So, yeah. Where are you, Mbak Almira? I still in the office. I oh. have uh yeah <laughs> for today. Okay, so for today's class, we just have two breakout room, but the main room will use as the same as breakout room. So uh for operator, uh are you done with the breakout room? I think I think the operator is already done with the breakout room, I think. Hello, Randy. Hello, Mas. Hello. Is my voice clear, Randy? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Nice to meet you, Randy. And nice to hello you. to Megan Anissa. Yes, hello. <laughs> okay. Also, I what? call you Mr. or Waka or... It's up to you. You yeah. can call me just ready, maybe. How about cut red, cut ready, right? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> and how about you, Megan, Anissa? What uh, can I call you? Megan, Megan. Megan, okay. Okay, I think we just uh, we just have three per three people here. Okay, we will discuss about. Uh, we will make some sentences uh, using some phrasal verbs given by Putri in the 
presentation session uh, tadi ya. Oke, okay, uh, but before we we are doing the task, I think it's better if we introduce ourselves first ya. Yeah. Let me uh, start introducing by myself, by myself. My name is Redi Hermawan. You can call me Redi. Uh, if you want to add Kak in front of my name, it's also okay. You can call me Kak Redi. Uh, right now, I live in Surabaya, and I'm a worker. I work for Bank Central Asia Surabaya. Nice to meet you, Randy and Mega. Nice to meet you, Mister. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, Randy, you go next. Yeah. Okay. So, um, hello, um, Kak Randy, dan hello. Kak Megan. I'm Randy Arsa, and you can also call me Randy. And I live in Malang right now. And oh, Malang, I see. Yeah, yeah, in Malang. Beautiful and... city. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's rainy today, Kak. <laughs> yeah, in Surabaya too. Okay, and I'm a fresh graduate, and yeah, I'm currently uh, work in a law office, law office. Oh, yes. Okay. yes, I think it's enough. <laughs> Thank you. Where did you study before? Uh, oh, uh, law. In, in university? Uh, Merdeka University. Oh, Merdeka. Okay, I see. Yeah. Okay. okay. Nice to meet you, Randy. Yes, nice to meet you too. Okay, we go to Megan. Can you introduce yourself, Megan? Oh, okay, uh, nice to meet you. Let me introduce myself. My name is Megan Anissa. You can call me Megan. Now I'm studying at ITS. I'm new college student at a major chemical engineering. Okay. Oh, chemical uh, engineering. Yes. It's hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so you stay in Surabaya right now? No. Right? No, oh. I'm still at uh, at Jember right now. Oh, Jember. Okay, so you still yes. doing online? Online, yeah, online class. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, nice to meet you, Megan. Okay, right now we are going to discuss about the topic. I will share screen first. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Okay, can you see my screen, guys? Of course. Okay. Putri give us some phrasal verbs and give instruction to us to make some sentences with these phrasal verbs. So maybe uh, we, we don't need to make sentences with all the phrasal verbs. We just need to choose maybe two of these Uh, phrasal verbs yeah, and make sentence with that chosen phrasal verbs uh, to okay maybe maybe we will go with trendy first yeah trendy oh yeah yeah what phrasal verbs do you choose um, um okay i'm sorry ready because yeah i'm i'm late joining the oh okay, okay. so i don't know clearly okay okay maybe megan first <laughs> okay okay yeah okay megan are you ready uh okay so okay I have to choose one sentence with uh get get rid of i think get rid of okay so What is your sentence? Uh, wait, <laughs> I'm just thinking. Sorry, but that. Yeah. Maybe you can start by tell to us what is get rid of mean. Pikirkan. How about Sorry. get rid of the yeah. the, the act? Sorry, can you repeat your statement? 
get rid of <laughs> bentar 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 kak bentar please get rid of get of rid me of gitu ya. me jerawat is it okay sorry can you repeat again Uh, get rid of acne. Get rid of acne. Acne, jerawat. Mm. Oh, oke, okay, oke, okay, oke. Okay. <laughs> I wish I get rid of acne. Oke, okay, cool. Thank you. Oke, okay, so, we go to Randy. Oh, yes. Oke. Okay. Which facial um, verbs do you choose? Um, I will choose go through with. Go, go through, through with. with. Okay. Yeah. Um, By the way, do you know the meaning of this facial verb? Uh, pergi dengan. Eh, bener enggak, Kak? pergi uh, melalui eh pergi dengan oke okay. uh, maybe uh, you can you can tell your sentence first ya yeah? and then uh, uh, i comment whether it's correct or not ya yeah? oke okay. okay. um, go through with your friends Uh, to circus. <laughs> oh, oke okay, oke okay, oke. Okay. I think the yeah your center is good, but uh, I think the meaning of go through with is uh, not that kind of mean ya. Yeah. Oh. Go through with is uh, what can I say? When you do something that you have decided to do, even though it may be oh. dangerous, but you go through with it. Uh, for example, I don't like uh, this trip, but I go through with it. Gitu. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I know. Uh -uh. Okay. Um. So maybe you can uh, rephrase your sentence. Uh, okay. Maybe um, uh, I don't like okay. the job, but go through it. it. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> That's great. Okay, yeah. thank you, Randy. I don't like my job, yeah? Yes, yes. Okay, but I go through with it okay so we back to megan which uh phrasal verbs do you want to choose uh wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> by the way if you want to choose the other phrasal verbs not in this list it's also be okay yeah okay, okay. maybe you want to choose take off it's okay Or the other phrasal verb, maybe uh, like wake up and then uh, looking for what to and then uh, what else, yeah. And then go out. If you want to make sentence from that, uh, that phrasal verbs, it's also be okay. Uh, 
Hello, Megan. Are you there? Yes, wait. Yeah. <laughs> Still thinking. Uh, wait, wait. Maybe I, I choose work up to. Work up to, okay. Okay. Uh, mm, it took me. It took me three years. Three years to work up to. Uh, it work up to position of my of uh, what position of chairman. Oh, wait. Apa ya kak? Bahasa Inggrisnya ketua organisasi. Okay, to it took three years to work up to uh. this chairman position aja gitu ya. Oh yeah. Or this position. Uh -uh. I think it's enough this position. Okay. Okay. Good, Megan. Thank you. So we go again to Randy. Okay. Um, um, maybe I choose. Wait, yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, <clears throat> hand in, maybe. Uh, okay, okay, I will try hand in. Hand, hand up. in. Hand in. Um, um, maybe, maybe I will try first, Kak, already. Yeah. <laughs> if, if I'm wrong, please correct. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, Go on. Hand in, hand in. Um, Maybe um, uh, Kak Megan pinjam namanya ya. <laughs> Megan, yeah, yeah. Uh, Megan okay. have um, I know Megan have some. Uh, me, uh, okay, I'm sorry. I know Megan have uh, uh, meal meal. Have so, to I have a meal. A meal. meal. Okay. Yeah. I know Megan have a meal. So Megan, please hand in. Uh it is correct. I hand know in. Megan. Oh okay, okay. Yeah. So hand oh. in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe uh that's correct, but uh I think your sentence is is uh, pasnya digunakan when you say it direct to Megan ya. Oh ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. May I uh, correct your sentence? Uh, yes, sure. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I know Megan. I know Megan have a meal. So I will ask her to hand oh yeah in to me into. oh yeah thank you Kak. okay i will ask her to hand it in to me okay mm -hmm. and so hand in is a separable phrasal verb yeah we can we can uh, add it between hand and in, and we can also add it uh, after in yet. Okay. Okay, wait. Okay. Maybe one more sentence. One more sentence. Megan, can you please make one more sentence? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, Kat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let someone down, maybe.
this phrasal verb is commonly used in many songs yeah let someone down don't let me down Uh, I think I choose let someone down. Okay. 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 How if uh, if you love her, you don't let her down. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you love her. Yes. Don't you? Oh. You should I use you don't let her down or or just don't let her down. You love her or oh, maybe uh, we can use should yeah shouldn't you shouldn't okay let her down if you love her jika kamu mencintainya you shouldn't kamu tidak boleh uh, let her down or Nggak boleh how if her. how if like this if you love her please don't let her down oh okay, okay. that's great okay Please don't let her down. Okay. Thank you, Megan. What a nice sentence. <laughs> okay, we go back to Randy. Yeah. Okay. One more sentence. Okay. Um. um fill up to maybe. Fill up, up to. Yeah. Sorry. Fill. Fill up. Not to. in this list, yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Oh. Fill up to. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, so, what's your sentence? Um. Fill up. Fill up to. Itu. Uh, keinginan kita atau gimana ya? Fill up to. Sorry. Wait. 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 Oh yeah. Fill up. Actually, I don't know the meaning of this phrasal verb, so I will use Google first. Oh, yeah. So sorry, guys. Fill up to. Yeah, yes. Okay. Oh, oh, I I found it in Google. Kak. It means to have enough energy, motivation, or omissional wherewithal to be able to do something. Yeah. Yeah. Right. When you feel up to doing something, you have the confidence or energy to do okay. So let's try, Fendi. Okay. Um, let's try build a sentence with that. Okay. Okay. Maybe. Uh, um. I know Megan. Is a strong woman. Is a is strong woman. Okay. So I will. Oh, kok sama ya? Eh, sama. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. And I know Megan is a strong woman. Uh, I think. I think I uh, I think Megan fell up to finish uh, her work. Maybe Megan. <laughs> uh, so I fill think up Megan fell up to finish, to her, finish her work. Her work. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I know Megan is a strong woman, so I think Megan. Up to finish her work. Uh, quick, quickly. Sorry. Uh, okay. Panjangan ya. <laughs> quickly. It's okay. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay. I know Megan is a strong woman, so I think Megan. Yeah. I think Megan. I think it's better if we at will, yeah. 
Oh yeah. Then we'll fill up to finish her work quickly. Fill up to. Okay. Let's review all the sentences that uh, we've been made. Yeah. That we've made. Uh, the first sentence Megan said that I wish I get rid of acne. Okay, and then Randy said, I don't like my job, but I go through with it. Yes, it's cool. Megan, it took me three years to work up to this position. Yes, cool. Randy, I know Megan have a meal, so I will ask her to hand it in to me. And then Megan said, if you love her, please don't let her down. Good. And then the last sentence we made, I know Megan is a strong woman, so I think Megan will fill up to finish her work quickly. Okay, great, guys. Okay, so what time is it now? Okay, 13 to... Okay. I think... Uh, not... I think we will end this breakout room soon, so... Uh, after this breakout room end, uh, one of you, uh, it can be Randy or Megan, will uh, present our discussion in this breakout room. Uh, you just need to uh, present. I, I will help you to share screen, so you don't need to remember all the sentences that we made. You just need to read the sentence. You get it? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, okay so who will be the representative of our group? Randy or oh. Megan? <laughs> Let's go. Um I think Kak Megan won. <laughs> uh, I think it's Kak Randy because uh, I have a low battery and Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, okay. Okay, it's okay. So, Randy, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Semangat, <laughs> Kak Randy. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah, I will ask the, the other committee when this breakout from will be end will be ended okay okay 10 seconds left okay thank you so much for joining uh, this room see you again in the main room guys maybe you can click leave uh, room, Randy. Okay. Okay. Hi, everyone. Hello, guys. Hello, hello. 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 How was how was the discussion in the FTD? That was really fun. Okay, Mas Reddy. How many members do you have in the FTD session? Three. Three. Three, including me. Okay. <laughs> so I yes, just only have member, two Mas people. Reddy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think everyone is already here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I would like you guys to represent the discussion result in this main room. Um, maybe I would like to call our facilitators one by one, starting from from Mas Reddy. Are you here, Mas Reddy? Okay. Okay. Thanks for the opportunity, Ifa. In my room, I have Randy and Megan, and. Randy will be our representative. So go ahead, Randy. Oh yeah, I will help him 
to share our discussion result. Wait. Yeah. Wow, so prepared. <laughs> we didn't can even you... prepare anything in, <laughs> in the main room. <laughs> can you see my screen, Randy? Of course, Kat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I start, Miss? <laughs> Yes, of course. Okay. Okay. Um, hello, everyone. Good afternoon. And I'm Randy from Group Two, and I have a team with Kat Megan. And okay, I will uh presenting our uh discussion our task okay uh, the proposal verbs one is get rid of and it's make an answer answers and the first is i wish i get rid of acne acne and the next is i don't like my job but i go through with it and the next is from megan it took me three years to work up to this position. And the next is, I know Megan have a meal, so I will ask her to hand it in to me. And the next one is, if you love her, please don't let her down. And the last one is, I know Megan is a strong woman, so uh, I think Megan will fill up to finish her work quickly okay i think it's enough Ka, and thank you thank you randy wow. oh thank you it's it's so many i guess many first of all that you're you're making a sentences right yes kaiva <laughs> yes in 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 our room just yeah, it is different. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> thank you. Thank you, Mas. Thank you, Mas Radis Group. Thank you, Mas Ran Randy. So, uh, next facilitators is Mbak Almira. Hi, Mbak Almira. Hi, hi. Thank you, thank you. But I think I'm not really prepared like Kak Randy. <laughs> <laughs> I just, yeah, I just, I just. It's okay, uh, it's okay. Yeah. In my group, in there. Me neither. Is, <laughs> it's Kak Ezra, Kak Inka, and Kak Happy. I, I, I didn't really choose the member of my group, so maybe Kak Ezra or Kak Inka want to conclude our group discussion, please. Hello, Kak Ezra and Kak Inka, are you here? Yeah, because... that's it, Kak Ezra. Ah, Kak Ezra. Okay, yeah. thank you, Kak Ezra. Please. Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> hello everyone. Now, in our group, we were discussing about three personal part. The first one is hand in, and the uh, one the ex, one of the ex sentence example that we use this. Have you handed in your assign? Uh, have you handed in the last class assignment? Yeah. And the second one is look through. And the, mm. the sentence that we made with look through is uh, maybe you should look through the last week's report. And the last one is the fill up to. And uh, the sample sentence that we did we use is, uh, <clears throat> well, I feel up to doing a workout this evening. Yeah, I think, thank you. That, that, that's all from uh, our discussion in the group. Yeah, 
Thank you, Kaisra. Wow, good job, Kaisra. So you're going to have a workout tonight? Uh, no. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> we look up to it. Mm. Uh, all right. Um, thank you, Kaisra, for that. Maybe, yep. Yeah. I guess back to MC. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay, my princess. Thank you, thank you, Mbak Mira. Thank you, Mas Ezra, for the yeah. answer. Thank you, each other. And for the third group is in the main room. Uh, we haven't chosen the representative, but maybe from Mbak Mila or Mbak Mbak Refi want to be the representative. Mbak Refi, maybe. Kak Refi, I believe. I don't prepare anything. <laughs> no worries, just just what you have already like exam. Um, no, practice before. I said before. Okay, I just uh, maybe like make a little note from our discussion. So we have a group discussion about fresh of work, and we uh we talk about the popular ones like walk out and then burn out, cheer up run into, shake off, pass away, give up, etc. So actually, we have used this kind of wrestle verb, but maybe uh, before I join with this class, actually, I don't know about the, the wrestle verb or the mention of this sentence. So after I have joined this, uh, I realized if I have used this kind of wrestle verb in my spoken spoken meeting with my friends or with my teachers like that <laughs> just a little summary <laughs> it's already some of everything okay, thank you thank Karafi. you, <laughs> thank you, you. remember almost everything i guess <laughs> uh, i i write it out on my journal like this oh, wow. <laughs> oh. you're so, you're so, so did you get it yes once again thank you Karafi. You are welcome. Okay, uh, it was great to hear all of you guys discussing the assignment together in the breakout room. Maybe it's time for Mbak Princess to give a feedback for them. All right, yep. I hear a great discussion in the main room. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, sure, in the main room. And then also hear fun discussion in the FGD room, I guess. and. All of you guys have already created some sentences regarding the prepared phrasal verb. So that was amazing. Super B, what you have done before. And maybe some of you might think, oh, this is a new phrasal verb for me. Oh, I haven't read it before, or I haven't, I haven't ever implemented it before in my spoken English. And now from that, I can learn that. Well, actually, that's the purpose of it you may learn from something new and then you may use it again in the next feature so yep again i i really appreciate your your effort in making sentences even though you haven't like know the meaning of each phrase of verbs before but you did good things in trying to understand and learn the phrase of verbs so yeah amazing i'm awesome it's really remarkable <laughs> Okay, thank you, my princess, for the feedback. Um, and now it's time to do a game. It's a game time. Oh, yay! The game is on quizzes, and maybe, Mas Operator, are you ready? I will help the operator for this one. Okay. Mm, okay. Okay, wait. What game Wait. is it, Kaifa? May I know? It's like um, maybe multiple choice about phrasal verb. Uh, so we're going to learn phrasal verbs again, right? Yes, of course. Yes. So we're going to have a lot of phrasal verbs. Okay, guys, you can join the link in the chat. Let's go. Uh, make sure to do your best for the game because 
there will be a prizes for two winners. Yay! <laughs> wow! The prizes, uh, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. The prizes uh, are money. It's pretty Ooh. enough. It's pretty enough to buy some some food from GoFood or GrabFood. <laughs> yeah, right. Right after the class, the class. Okay, maybe I will wait for about five minutes to the participant to join the quizzes. Come on, guys. Let's go. We've already had eight people. Tevi, Randy, Gong Junim. Who is Gong Junim? Maybe Gong Junim is Mas Rian. Mas Ryan. Oh, yeah, Mas Ryan. Oh, okay. Zero, three, six, two, eight, five. Whoa. What name? <laughs> Is it a, a like a phone number or something? That's a special code. <laughs> oh, I see special code. Or maybe pin, pin for locking the phone. <laughs> That's a pin of our ATM. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Okay. So I need eleven. People, wait. Maybe. How maybe many Mas people Rady? do we have? Mas Rady, maybe you can. Yeah. You can. Oh, thank you, Mbak Putri. Oh, okay, okay. I want ask you to to send the link again. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We couldn't hear any voices. Mas Rady. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Have you already shared I the sound? I think I forgot to send uh, to share the sound. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Yeah, you guys can join yeah. while waiting for us ready to set it up again. Okay. I guess still no sound, but maybe the sound will start when I click. The start button. Oh yeah, maybe there might be. Okay, Randy, Rizzi, Rizzi, oh Megan. Okay, Megan, join us. Have to join us. Rizzi, don't you want to winning our prize? <laughs> Hello, Rizzi. <laughs> Hi, Karizzi. Hello, hello. Wait, wait. I got the bad connection here. Okay, okay. Rizzi have already joined. The game. Uh, okay. So may I start, Ifa? Yes, of course. We can okay. start, Mas Ready. Okay. Good luck, guys. Have fun. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck.
okay, let's go, Gong Junim and Rizzi. Let's see. Is there anyone can beat Ezra and Sophia? Okay. Just Rizzi, yeah. Just Rizzi who have not, has not finished this game. Let's go, Rizzi. Sorry, sorry, I got bad connection. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. It's okay. Okay, while well, waiting for Rizzi to finish the game, how do you think about the game, guys? Is it hard? How I many questions? How many questions for, for the game? 15 questions. Oh. Okay. I think it's tricky. <laughs> it's yeah. like a structure in Tuval. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, that's like, correct. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> but it's in not grammar, but the phrase of verbs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay, Rizzi. Come on, grab it. Maybe we can leave him or Rizzi, do you give up? <laughs> <laughs> Hello Rizzi. Rizzi, can you beat Ezra and Sophia? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you no. Know, because uh, Rizzi has already had more uh, false answer than Ezra and Sophia. I see. Okay. Um... Okay. So I think I will end this game, yeah. Okay. So sorry, okay. Rizzi. So sorry, Rizzi. Okay. Congratulations. Okay, congratulations to Ezra and Sophia for game today. Yay. Congratulations for Ezra, Sophia, and Refi. But I'm sorry for Refi because the prize is only <laughs> for two winners. So sad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just have fun. <laughs> Yeah, correct. It's near to be winner. Yeah, near to be winner. <laughs> For Mas Esra and 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 who is that? Sophie and Sophie. Uh, wait for wait for us to contact you. Maybe in the WhatsApp to uh, to to talk about the prizes. Okay. Yay! Congratulations. Congratulations for you too. Uh, all right. Uh, we are near to closing the closing the class, but before that, we have a Q and A session. Mm. We have a Q and A session. Uh, all, uh, everyone who wants to ask anything to Mbak Putri uh, about the about the material or about anything, you can unmute yourself or you just can type uh, type your question in the chat box. Ah, Rizzi is coming back again. I think, I believe his connection. Okay, any one of you maybe have some questions to be asked? So, yeah. Okay, Mbak Almira. I see a beautiful face, sister. Okay, okay, thank you. 
but I just wanna have some of question for um, that um, about uh, the offer and out in maybe when you get over or get out uh, when we can use offer or out or something like that. I just can't uh, differences but to of that out or over or yeah up or in or on yeah oh okay. I see yeah okay thank is you is that all yeah uh, well yeah 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 that's that's okay good questions actually I couldn't like um uh, really define to really find the right answer for this but I think we need to search for the like meanings first so that we can know oh this is the function of get over and then this is the function of get out get out usually usually we can just uh, say when we, we would like to go out yeah get out wait go out is uh, keluar right and then get over is um get over if you would like to get over something like keluar i'm a I believe. Let me check. I'm afraid I will share bad thing. Uh, um, wrong thing. So I will try to find it first. Okay, maybe you, if I can ask about others, maybe. Who's maybe got any question? Everyone, others want to. Oh, there's in the chat box. Marvin says I will read it. Okay. Hi, hi, Miss Princess. I want to ask, could you share how to learn as soon as possible about phrasal verb without memorize? That's, for, that's from Mbak Inka. Thank okay. you, Mbak Inka. Thank you, Mbak Inka, for the question. All right, I have already... Let me try to come back to Mbak Almira first. So get off get get out of means is yeah just like avoiding something when we don't want it to be near us something like keluar something like keluar indonesia is keluar maybe, or maybe it's like get get off me get off me something like that it's get when off you, no no yeah mm -hmm. when when you when you say to your friend get out of me something like that get out of me um it's i believe it's uh it's much possible if you use get out of if you're using like something i get oh, okay. like some activities maybe or some some things sesuatu i mean it's not it's not About i believe it's not right if we use it to get out of someone because ah. it has a different meaning <laughs> Okay, thank you. And regarding the in, on, off, something like that, it depends on the context again. What, what, what verbs, what mm -hmm. kata kerja that you would like to use to change the original verb. Okay. But to make mm -hmm. you clear, I will share, as I promised, I will share the PDF file so that you can learn it by yourself. There might be ah. much. They might be much uh, much easier for you to read it by yourself. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Princess, for the answer. Sure. Yeah. I'm sorry I couldn't couldn't answer your questions properly. Ah, it's good. It's good. All right. Thank you, Mbak Almira, for the question, and thank you, Mbak Putri, for the answers. And maybe Mbak Putri uh, will will answer the question from Mbak Inka. Okay. Good. To in class question mm, basically we need to practice to make it perfect so you don't have to memorize it but i believe you need to practice more like trying to fill out some quizzes regarding the first of verbs and then take notes when you're listening to the mu the movies sometimes we we hear some first of verbs from movies from music we can take notes on that. 
and then try to do the quizzes more, I believe. Yeah, everything needs a memorizing. So yeah, I'm really sorry. We need to memorize it first. But uh, I will like, well, uh, but in my PDF that will be shared to you, there's also a practice session. So you can practice it by yourself. Okay, thank you, Ma. Thank you, Ma Inka, for the question, and thank you, Mbak Putri, for the answers. Is it answering, Kak Inka? Kak Inka, sorry. Yes, thank you. <laughs> maybe yeah, from maybe from the answers from Mbak Putri, I think practice makes perfect, right? Yeah, I believe that that is the best solution that we can do. Because to be honest, uh, when I when I was learning English, I mean, yeah, learning English, I I also try to memorize it first before I'm trying to speak it out because because it will be so hard for me, yeah, for ourselves if we don't memorize something first, then we just we just like directly talk instantly talk. I believe that that's not possible. So we need to memorize it first. All right. Okay. Um, thank you. Thank you, my princess, for the for sharing with us about your experience. All right, guys. Yeah. Um, this is the last session. I will need you guys to open your camera. So your beautiful and handsome faces will appear in our Instagram and our YouTube channel for documentation. Wow, guys, there's already gave an action. <laughs> already post. <laughs> Oh, this is our winner, Sophia. No, so Kaisra. Everyone uh, wants to open your camera, maybe. Mas Rendi, Kak Rendi, or Kak Inka? Yep, Kak Rendi, Kak Inka. Oh, double ready. <laughs> All right, maybe you guys, if you can't turn on your camera, you may just leave emoticon. That's really okay. Emoji, what is that? Reactions. Uh, yep, alarm is coming up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is the no oh, is the operator ready to take a screenshot? Rizan Surabaya. Okay, I'm ready. So just post, right? So I will count from three to one. Okay, three, two, one. Post. Wait. Maybe once again. Okay, wait. Okay. Okay, post again. So I will count three, two, one. Yes. All right. All right. Thank you. Great. So uh, then uh, please unmute yourself, guys, to shout out our tagline. So when I say Pritun Surabaya, uh, you can answer dare to speak up. Okay. First okay. of all, you guys can unmute yourself first. Yeah. Yep. And meet yourself first. Yes, Mas Ezra. <laughs> you want to talk something, Mas Ezra? Yeah. Oh, no. No. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for this class because this class gives us uh, more. Uh, more insight about the use of Russell verb in the 
daily life. Thank you. Sure, a pleasure, Mas Ezra. We also thanks to you, Mas Ezra, because you are already coming in for today's class. Yep, sure. Okay, everyone who still unmute, please mute yourself. And no, unmute oh. yourself. I'm oh, sorry, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> who's still who's still in mute? Please unmute yourself. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, maybe. Okay, I will. I will. I will say it. Okay, you guys ready? Yep, ready. Region Surabaya. Get to speak up. Get to speak up. I see some laughing faces here. <laughs> All right, cool guys. You can mute yourself again, um, because that's the last session. I think that's all for today's class. I really appreciate you guys for joining today's class. Hopefully, you guys can enjoy the class and can join our next class. Okay. Uh, uh, I I promise our class will be will be fun. Massive thank you to Mbak Princess for giving a very insightful material for today. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you so much, and bye. See you bye. soon. See you, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Really appreciate your presence here. Bye. Thank you. And hope to see you guys again hope on the next video. Bye. And also Karafi, who's going to be our next conductor, <laughs> Camila. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> Kain Ka also. Kaizra also. <laughs> uh, thank you, Kaizra. Yeah, thank, thank you, Karandi. Thank you, Karandi. Thank you, Sofia. Thank you, Kain Ka. Thank you, Kain Ka. And Sofia. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Sofia, for coming. Wow. It's like thank long you. time no see you. <laughs> yeah. Are you in Surabaya, okay. Sofia? You still here, Sofia? Sofia is here, but I don't know. She's hearing or not. I just miss her so much. Because I I just see her when I go to Malang and we go Surabaya together. When is that? Oh, it's a random, random meeting when I go in Malang. Accidentally, right? Ah, when I go to Malang and I, I want to back to Surabaya, I just meet her in the station and we just go in a train together. In the same train? In the same, how do you say? Same I think, I think it's different. It's a different this different train, but I just I just forget my train, so I just I just go into the <laughs> train. So but go to in, the wrong. in the train we yeah uh, I I don't I don't get uh check we, we you yeah, didn't check, check the ticket yeah, oh yeah. the ticket did, no, because we are just lo local train right so yeah mm -hmm. we, we just. Uh, see it on in um, everywhere we can sit yeah. so I just I just sit uh, next to Sophia so I just so much Sophia <laughs> oh so you're spending yeah. um <laughs> I just took the wrong train quiet much time with Sophia how many how many hours well uh, from from Malang to Surabaya, right? Mm, three hours. Eh, three, uh, three hours or four hours? It's a Doho Benataran, right? Yeah, yeah, Doho Benataran. Yeah, it's kind of three hours. Yeah. Wow. We just, and you're sticking because, with Sofia. Oh, so sweet. Yeah, because, because Sofia, with, with all of her friends, uh, uh, bring some of sample from, I think, she oh, I took some samples, uh, like project or, or another. 
she just bring bring some of the what is the tanah art what tanah from yeah. 